You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. Go there if you are sick and tired of the lies everyone has been telling you for your entire life and pay me, Cappy, some of your fucking money and I'll tell you the truth. Cappy, I would like to remain anonymous. This will be my second time doing business with you while encouraging the leftists I despise to pursue their liberal arts degrees. I've also directed a number of my friends to your videos and some have switched from economics and finance to accounting, actuarial science, and engineering. Outstanding. Outstanding. You're saving lives out there. Thank you. That actually means something to me. I don't know what that feeling is. Warm fuzzies? If I only had a heart, I could tell. All right. My first semester of college was pretty boring, but I knocked out the prerequisites to get into the engineering program that I'll be beginning in the fall. My workload this fall will be moderately heavy, but I won't be getting my ass kicked in, kicked until the semester, spring semester. One of the engineering professors I talked with suggested I choose mechanical engineering or electrical engineering and pursue a co-op or internship next summer. <clears throat> I'm contemplating these options and would like your input. Applying for Na at the NSA, not NASA, sorry, the NSA, it's competitive to get an internship position, but I would like to give it a try. Do they only accept Poindexters from MIT and the Ivy League, or does a junior college student like me stand a chance? If I do this, then I most likely go into the electrical engineering route. Um, it's not going to cost you anything. I mean, it'll take you an hour or whatever to fill out the application. I know the NSA is probably going to be more along the lines of cybersecurity. Um, and uh, but if it's the internship, I guess they know that you know you're not going to be this cybersecurity expert. And it's not going to cost you anything, so go ahead and apply. And then if that sends you down the electrical engineering route, cool. Uh, I have a feeling though, like if you just finish your first year, it's not like your sophomore year you choose electrical engineering and you couldn't switch like in the middle of your sophomore year if you find out you don't like electrical and you want to switch back to mechanical. Um, two. Several of my family members are engineers. The one that is the president of a company told me their engineering co-ops make $15 an hour with decent benefits, despite being part-time. The company also pays entry-level electrical engineers and mechanical engineers a salary of sixty to seventy thousand dollars. It's patriarchy. It's it's the it's the wage gap. <clears throat> Uh, lastly, I've noticed something interesting and off-topic. Everyone knows leftists instinctively head for soft occupations where their ideas don't have to meet the tests of facts and results, such as the humanities and similar areas outside of the academic arena. But the outstanding areas where they don't have such predominance are precisely those areas where you cannot avoid facts and results. The hard sciences, engineering, mathematics, and athletics. The overwhelming majority of people I know who are studying or have degrees in mathematics, engineering, and the hard sciences are conservatives and libertarians. Why do you think conservative libertarian and apolitical types are attracted to these exceptional areas? And for Christ's sake, please do a collaboration with Ed Lattimore and or Mike Cernovich. Why? <laughs> we don't all have enough time. In, I mean, there's a lot of guys that would like to go do collaborations with, with each other. Uh, and I'm, I, me and Ed, I advertise on Ed's site and we kind of pester each other on Twitter. But, you know, if it was up to me, I'd have conversations every day on the Internet. with all. But they got their thing going on. I got my thing going on. And if we got some time, we can do it. Uh, so let's kind of answer these in reverse. Why do you think conservative libertarian and apolitical types are attracted to these exceptional areas? Um, I think it's because they're smarter than average and they have logic. I'm not saying because I hate leftists. I'm just telling you my honest opinion, um, which I believe to be fact. Uh, once you get a certain above a certain IQ, I mean, facts and reason and evidence and empiricism really become hard to ignore. Uh, and what inferior minds have a great, they're really good at is lying to themselves so that they can avoid work. Um, and if you look at what leftists predominantly do, that's most of where all their energies and efforts are put into is creating lies as to why they suck. You know, it's not my fault I can't make as much as a man. I have a vagina. It's like, but you majored in women's studies or English or communications and that's, that's not in demand. We need people that know how to program Python and then you're called sexist or something else. Um, <clears throat> so I really do believe people who go into the weaker science that came called sorry, the, the bogus studies came that they don't even call it a science they're just not that smart and they're much more susceptible and prone to being lied to and taken advantage of by the previous generation of idiot people who got doctorates and masters in these things and they got those guys know the only way they're going to make money is in keeping up and propagating this ponzi scheme of education where it's like oh now we got to teach you about 
international justice studies or, or justice, you know, something or other. So uh, they're easily duped. Whereas people who are just smarter, uh, did well in math, they have a more clinical mind, they, they can identify threats, I guess, a little bit better, and they can identify, and they're, they're simple, it's not even that hard, they just look, oh, engineers make that much, and, and, a, and a philosophy major makes it that much, fuck it, I'm going into engineering. Um, so I, I don't think it's, you know, it could be politics too, I'm sure like when you're a young, stupid high schooler, you're told by your teachers that, you know, leftism is the greatest, the only answer, it's, well, it's these evil rich people and all that. So I, I guess if you fall for that, you're going to be more prone towards leftist uh, liberal arts. But yeah, once you get above a certain IQ, it's kind of hard to ignore facts. I mean, it, it really you're above that 14-year-old teenager level where you just want to keep believing the lie uh, and so you avoid work. Like if you got to keep telling lies because you think you're going to lie yourself out of lie. Remember those 80 sitcoms that always happen? And then you learn the lesson at the end. You should always tell the truth. Yeah, these people aren't out of that yet. <clears throat> they still want to believe the lie, and they'll borrow hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep it up. Uh, so that's kind of like that. All right, so, well, the other stuff you'd like my input on applying for NASA? Hell yeah, go ahead and do it. Does a junior college student like me stand a chance? Yeah, it's a small one, but you stand a zero chance if you don't apply. It's Like I said, what's, how long is it going to take you to apply? Go, go apply. Uh, just don't expect to get accepted. I, and yeah, do they go more the MIT? Yeah, they're going to go more... Caltech, MIT, they want the best. Uh, a junior college student, yeah. Somebody like, hey, look, somebody from junior college applied. Yeah, send them through, you know. They may even look more like IQ and all this stuff, but it's not going to cost you anything, so I have no problems recommending you doing that. Um, some of my family members are all engineers. The one that is president of the company, told da -da 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 -da. the company also pays entry-level engineers, mechanical engineers, a salary of 60, 70 thousand. Yeah, if you're asking me if you should go into engineering, yes, go into engineering. By the way, go to the military too to have them pay for it. <laughs> That's just to piss off the the uh, peacenik libertarian groups. Uh, they like uh, I like to rattle their cage every once in a while. It's not even them. It's everybody else who's like, oh, you can't just go. Oh, you always recommend going in the military. You always recommend going in the military. That's because that's the best fucking option a lot of you kids got right now. Now I recommend it just to irk those people a little bit more. Um, but yeah, go into engineering. Yeah, if you don't get into the NSA, apply for an internship. You should apply for an internship if you get paid. You never work an internship if you don't get paid. If you don't get paid, fuck them, fuck you, fuck that. You do not work for them because you're not working. You're being a slave. Uh, but yeah, but give it time. I mean, take some classes. You're, you're, not, you're not even a sophomore yet. You're about to go into your sophomore year. You know, be open to either mechanical or electrical. They're both fine degrees. Um, and I think in time you'll figure out whether you got to pinch it for one or the other. But don't, you know, not all questions are answered tomorrow. Even with my brilliant genius and insight, not all questions can be answered tomorrow. Um, it just takes some time, you know. Do you like redheads or do you like brunettes? Oh, you gotta, You got to experiment. You must be scientific about it and sample many of them. And then have a spreadsheet and a chart. All right, that's all we got. You guys got questions, assholeconsulting.com. I'll be there, the world's only professional asshole. We got the blog, captivecapitalism.blogspot.com. We got, uh, what else have we got? The books and the podcast called The Clary Podcast. And then um, we got a bunch of other shit, and praxy and all this other stuff. I'll, I got to get my act together. So, All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.